All right, welcome to the Crash Test Mom Craft Series. I'm Natalie Morris, and this week we're going to do back to school crafts. We're going to learn to do some crafts at home that might get your toddlers excited for the academic year, whether or not they're actually in school. Um, I'm just the host, I'm not the brains behind this operation. The Nicole, uh, I wanted to say Morris, Meckley is my sister in law. She's right there, and she'll be, te she'll be leading us through this. Amanda is taking notes. She's a mommy to be. She's a lady in waiting. She's got two more weeks to wait. So um, she's not practicing this stuff yet, but she's getting ready. So, ladies, thank you for joining me. I've got all my stuff ready to go paints and crayons and all of that stuff. So, Nicole, um, tell us what we're making and we'll go ahead and get started. And then we'll talk a little bit more about back to school week. Okay, certainly. We are going to be making a handprint tree. Um, and basically it's just tracing your child's handprint and cutting them out um, to resemble branches and leaves on top of a, a brown trunk um, and then we're going to put little apples on our tree to um, you know bring in the whole apple back to school teacher thing so that's the project for today. That's very cute. Okay so um, what are some of the things we needed? I've got all my construction paper here you also said Crayons. I've got some crayons in a jar, and kid-friendly scissors. Yeah. Um, you said finger paint, and I think this is. I'm not sure if it's finger paint or not, but I'm gonna use it. On my fingers. I'm sure it's fine. Okay. And then glue was also correct. Okay. And um, red tissue paper, if you had that as well. Okay. Actually, I have red um, party napkins. Hey, that works. Right. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay, okay, so um, we can get started with uh, the green construction paper. Okay. What you would do with your child is take um, one of their hands, if they're willing, <laughs> of course, okay. and um, place the hand on the paper. All right. And obviously we're just going to use our own hands right now since we don't have our children with us. All they're right. sleeping, hopefully, for us. Um, we're going to trace our hand on the paper. Okay. With a crayon? Correct. Or whatever you have handy, but crayons, you know, are great. Okay. Especially for, for the little ones. And it does not by any means need to be perfect. Just uh, the general outline of your hand, or uh, like I said, the children's hands. Oh We're going to do it uh, four times. On, so. In the same place? No, um, four separate. I'll, I'll trace mine and I'll show you. Okay. So I have two prints there, if you can see that. There's a oh, see, I did mine vertical. Okay, so I should do it, or, or I'll just have to use more pieces. Yeah, of you'll just have to use more paper. No big deal. Okay. Or if you want to turn it over and, and start on the back. I'll do that, because then I'm going to be wasting trees while I'm making a tree. That is true. So, <laughs> so I'll turn it over and do it this way. Okay. Yes. And also, so, I think I'm going to take off my wedding ring, because... It made a yeah, I, I took mine off too. Um, obviously, we have much larger hands than our children, so probably one sheet would be enough for your child's handprint to do four on one, but obviously we're bigger, so we can just do um, two pieces. And I'll do the second paper here. All right. So my son actually did start school today. It was back to school. And you know what? It didn't even occur to me to do an apple for the teacher. Um, I don't know why. I think I was just all focused and like, what does he need? Well, you know? of course. Um, but yeah, he started. There's two. Aww. My gigantic hands. So he started preschool today, and I just am in such denial that he's a preschooler already, and he was yeah. so excited about it. Um, That's hard to believe. Little Miles is heading off to school. I know, and he was really nervous about it too, and. Um, you know, I think I've forgotten how nervous I used to get before a new school year with a new teacher and, you know, new friends. And I was, and I asked him, there was only one boy who was in his class from last year. And I said, how were the new kids? Because all those other kids had been in that class before. And he goes, they weren't nice to me because they didn't know me yet. But I had Arjun, his other little friend. And then I'm like, well, who's ass do I have to kick who's not being nice to my kid? <laughs> Aww. But I think it was just like not talking, you know. It's, no one's ever really mean to my son. He's kind of an amiable guy. Oh, absolutely. I can't imagine that. <laughs> Except maybe his cousin who, you yeah. know. He challenges him. Yeah. Okay, so I got four hands now. 
Excellent. So um, we can cut out our our handprints with our child safety scissors. Okay. Um, and actually, you know, even a, a quicker way of doing this um, is to do just two handprints on one side and fold the paper and, and cut them out uh, oh. that way as well uh, if you're looking to save some time. But if you want your child to practice their, their cutting skills, then, you know, by all means do all four handprints and let them cut them out. All right. That way. Good idea. Okay. But this is a cute way to things to do even before the school year starts. I know here in our town, the public schools don't go back until right after um, Labor Day, so they they start next Monday. So um, yeah, you wow. could get your kids ready to do crafts, especially if they they seem a little bored with the summertime. I know my son; he was he's been out for two months now because he was in the the daycare before, which was kind of an educational. Thing and he was antsy about going back. Like he was ready, you know. Yeah, so. I can see that. Once they get started, they they like to continue the, the routine. Yeah, I think he was excited about it, but nervous and all of that stuff. So, but gosh, I feel like I was just pregnant, like Amanda, just you know, <laughs> yesterday. So Amanda, you're gonna blink, and then you're gonna have to do this stuff too. It just happened. Hello. It's extremely true. Yeah. All right. Here's one hand. Hello. Yay. Okay, that's good. It looks like um, wicked. <laughs> yeah, it does. That's cool. a very good reference. It is. Yeah, I think I think the Apple, you know, theme for a lot of projects is is, is good because it's just so, you know, fall oriented and. You can tie it into so many different things. Yeah. Now I've got some of my tracings are still not being cut out perfectly, so maybe we could even use the other side, I suppose. Absolutely. Okay. That's what I will do. I will put mine over because they're not very pretty. Okay. All right. Very really good. Yeah, this uh, might be a little easier with smaller hands. <laughs> And I do have child scissors, but I'm using the adult scissors just for precision sake. That makes uh, sense. Um, if you can see, I, I recycled a piece of paper that my daughter had already colored on, not knowing. So ah. you know, <laughs> now both sides are quite pretty. Oh, okay. I'm so. sure that's. It's like um, you've got henna tattoos on your hands. Exactly. That works. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Well, that is two. All right. I'm working on the other sheet. All right. So you've got two hands here. This is foolproof. It's handy. It is. There go. I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> a little slow tonight. Yeah. I hear you. Nicole and I had, we both had bugs. Like, um, it could have been the same bug. She had a bad stomach flu. And I had kind of a measly, gross, up in here flu. So. Yes. Yeah. It sure. was a day that I will not soon forget. Um, but I wish I could. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone saw. I put this on Twitter. I was feeling so miserable last. I want to say Thursday, and um, it was the first time that I had a really bad cold and hadn't been pregnant or nursing. So I could take Nyquil. I mean, you can't take that when you're nursing or pregnant because the antihistamine in it will dry you up. You don't have any milk, um, and you know it's obviously not good for the baby. It's Pretty potent. <laughs> you imagine Nyquil on a newborn fetus. That so, that would be a little. A little I frightening. took that Nyquil and I felt wonderful. It was like just one of those little things when you have your. I know Nyquil's not the best for you. I read the bottle and I was like, I don't care. And I took <laughs> a big old swig and I was out. I bet. Yeah. Is that one of those things that you you've missed or you haven't had many? I guess colds, huh? I actually haven't. I've been fairly lucky. Um, I yeah. I every once in a while I'm like, oh, that's right. I can't take anything. I think my biggest thing is allergies. 
I just, oh, uh, yeah. I miss the, the Claritin or, you know, whatever I used to take for that. So yeah. that I definitely do miss. Yeah, I had to switch my allergy meds. You've had to just suffer. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah, that's tough. And I am... Um, yeah, you know, I was in the pharmacy today, and I asked the pharmacist, speaking of back to school, is it time for flu shots yet? And they said, we don't have them in yet. They've been back ordered. And I, you would think that now they might not even know what the strain is going to be, so it's just too early. But I don't know. When do people start doing that? I'm on, I'm on two more fingers. <laughs> um, I have, to be honest, I have not gotten a flu shot. I know that's... Um I say that I had a bad reaction, and I don't mean that I got sick. I had a numbness in my arm for, I, I swear it was about two months. Um, oh. Yes, so I associate the flu shot with that. Yeah. Um, so I'm, like, anti-flu shot, even though I know I shouldn't be. So I'm not the best person to ask. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I'm just wondering when the gender, I mean, that's, those are the things we think about, you know, for back to school, like flu shots and lunches and all of that stuff. Yes. So. All right, four hands. Hello. What do we do now? Our hands. Whoops, I went the wrong way. Yes, so we are going to now take a sheet of blue construction paper, if you have it handy. All right. And to be honest, I did not have brown construction paper. I must have used it all. So I have brown felt, which oh, is okay. uh, equally as fun, if not even more so. And you're essentially just going to take your, your brown piece of construction paper then uh -huh. um, and cut what you would think would resemble a trunk of okay. a tree. Do we need four of them? No, just, just one trunk. Oh, okay. And it's going to... Um, I'll hold it up and show you if I can kind of demonstrate. All right. I don't have brown either. It didn't come in my pack, so I'm going to do a yellow trunk. Oh, sure. It's going to be like a palm tree kind of. So... Yeah. Um, you have your, your blue piece of paper, you're going to want to hold it, um, what is that, Port is it portrait? portrait? Uh, yeah, portrait, <laughs> this is landscape, yeah. <laughs> Not landscape, but portrait. Um, so you're going to want to put your trunk, you know, going up probably a, a good length of your, of your blue sheet of paper. Okay. All right. Because your the blue piece of paper is te is really resembling you know a, a background a sky. The sky, yeah. Okay. So we just put it up. Yeah. Like that. And shall I glue it? You shall. Okay. Glue that puppy right on there. Yep. I have my. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone will have to forgive me my yellow trunk. I looked in the store today, too, and all the packs just had the primary colors, so I guess I'd have to go to the specialty store. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, brown is, I find, a color that uh, is used a lot in at least my projects, and I can't find it easily. Yeah. All right. Very good. Okay. So how much of this are the kids doing? Um, pretty much as much as you can have them do. It depends, of course, on their age. Um, you know, if they're able to cut a simple line for the trunk, that's an easy cut. Um, and then, of course, the gluing, if you'd prefer them to not use it right out of the bottle. Um, I think I demonstrated last time, you can do the egg carton, you know, and, and oh, yeah. put it the glue and then use a Q-tip um, for them to apply the glue to the trunk onto the paper, whatever you, you know, find that your, your child is able to, to do. They probably, most likely, would need help with the, the cutting out of the hands. Um, but there are many kids, obviously, that are well advanced enough to do that, um, depending on age again, so. Right. so yeah, I think my son could do the trunk and maybe some, like, the straight edges of the hands. The fingers I even had a hard time with, but... <laughs> Okay, so next we're going to take our hands, um, which again are much larger than what our child's would be, so they're probably going to come off the paper a little bit, but you're essentially going to arrange them like so. Oh, okay. 
around the top of the trunk. If, you, if I can get my hand out of the way, you can see what I'm talking about there. Yeah. Um, you resemble a top of a tree and all the limbs. So you'll just glue kind of at the bottom of the hands and glue them around the trunk. Yep. Yeah, I'm I'll do it. Like, it. Mine looks like a palm tree. Because, yeah. yeah. It looks very tropical. It does. It does. That's I'm going to pretend we're going back to school in Hawaii. Yeah. Or Florida, I guess. Yeah. I'll they have trees in Florida. They do, right? I'm sorry? They have palm trees in Florida, right? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. So, yeah, just you said apply the glue around the base area here, right? Yeah, just like on the, on the palm of your hand print. And then just I'm trying to hold it up so they don't fall off. But yeah. Um, just around the top there. All right. Okay. Mine are kind of crazy. Excellent. Here we go. And that's, you know, part of the fun for the kids is they can just kind of throw them on there however they think would represent a tree, you know? Yeah. I got some glue in the front, but that's okay. All right. Next step is our red paint. Okay. Um, if you have something handy to to just put a little bit in, I I always have my empty egg cartons handy. Um, or if you just want to even just dab some on your finger, Natalie, if you don't have anything. Okay. Handy, um, you're just gonna use your thumb. All right. Oh, that's cute. Uh huh. So I'm gonna put some paint in my my little egg carton here and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to use my thumb, uh -huh. some red paint, and I'm just going to do little thumb prints around the tree. Like that. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get more. So it's a cherry tree. It's oh, actually an apple tree. tree. An apple tree. <laughs> Okay. We're getting a little literal about it. <laughs> if if you'd prefer to be a cherry tree, that's always perfectly fine. It's no um, it's no longer a palm tree. Yeah, that's true. But it is, I mean, a palm tree. <laughs> you got them. Yeah. Got I'm them quick with these puns today. This is looking good though. Okay. Okay, and I also like to put some on the ground that oh, have that's cute. fallen off. Uh huh. <laughs> All right. It's almost apple picking season here in the Northwest. I'm excited about that. Yes, me too. I think um, my mom's coming to visit from California, and she's never done anything like that. So. Oh. I'm excited to take her. I'm sure she will enjoy that, especially with the kids. Yeah. All right. Now, our red tissue paper for an added bit of fun. Uh huh. Um, this is an optional step, but I think it's fun, and it gives your your project more texture. Um, just to rip off, just little corners, just rip it, and then uh -huh. ball it up. Yeah. Okay, I see that. Okay. And we're just going to glue the little balls of paper on top of your fingerprints. Oh, okay. All right. right. Again, just to give it a little bit more, um, you know. Yeah, like some little texture. Exactly. Little, okay. So I'm going to take this little ball here. If you can see, I got one on there so far. Oh, yeah. All right. Mine looks a little violent. I don't know why. Like, <laughs> but I think if you know, with my child, I might have had a little more patience, I guess, with it. Yeah. And um, a fun thing to do, um, or an educational thing to do, while while they're doing this, also, 
is to, you know, count the apples and um, talk about the color, talk about the texture of the paper, um, just always having communication going while you're doing these projects just to uh, further their educational development. Yeah. I was, um, the other day we went to some animal park and, you know, my son then had a lot of questions about lions. And so I, I looked up online how to draw a lion because I did not know. Um, and so there was this great website called like Art for Kids or something that gives you all these different shapes that you can, that they can actually draw and then you draw in the things around them. So it was good and then, I mean, back in the day I guess, I mean I know lions are from Africa but you know I wanted to know more about like the population, what they actually eat and things like that. So I went online and we just sort of pretended we were lions and we drew lions and we, you know, learned like, we looked up, on, you know, we sh I showed him the continent of Africa on, on the iPad and everything, and he really seemed to get it. And I thought, well, you know, when we were kids, we just would have had to go to the Encyclopedia Britannica, right? Absolutely. Like, what were all of our resources back then? You'd have to either know everything about gophers or whatever or <laughs> figure it out. It's so, it's so much, there's so many resources these days to figuring out Things like that. Yeah, he asked me. It was like back in the day, you'd be ter like, I would be terrified because I know nothing. You know, I feel like there's so much that I don't know, but right, Google it. So it's actually kind of something I'm looking forward to because yeah. I'll learn something. That's that's very true. So I'm just doing. Uh, you don't have to do all of the the thumbprints um, okay. if you don't choose to. You know, just again, just to add a little. A little flavor to the mix. Yeah. All right. It's, it's coming together. It's looking good. Yeah. Theirs is so cute. So is yours. So yeah. Um. And then I have the crayons on on the list as well as supplies. And um, you could you know color some flowers in the on the paper if you wanted to. Um. You could draw some birds in the background. Just anything that you want to you know add to the to the picture. Yeah. Anything they want to add, I should say. Oh, my color, my crayons are going everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll put like a little hole, like a squirrel hole or something. Yeah. Right there. And now it's really no longer a palm tree. Okay. And you can so that, that is essentially, I'm just drawing a, a lovely little flower over here hiding behind the tree. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll put some like birds <laughs> flying around. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. No. I have I have a few M birds on there as well and then yeah. a little flower. Lovely. Yeah. That is our project of the day. Well, thank you very much. This is really fun. Yeah. I think, yeah, this is a great way to sort of get them excited about doing crafts and stuff. Hopefully they have more of this at school. So that was great. And if you have any questions about um, how to make yours look as good as this, you can write to Nicole, not me, or you can write us at Crash Test Mom, and we'll make sure Nicole gets all the questions as well. We have these craft workshops every other week, so join us. Get your supplies ready. We usually try and give you a few days, so make sure you're following Crash Test Mom on Google+, Plus and on Twitter, and on Facebook, and all of those good things. Thanks again, you guys. This was really fun. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.